Okay, welcome. I decided to publish a preview. Uh, this is the direct drive um, transform with uh, rewound uh, F and P motor. Three phase DC, BLDC. Um, I have altered the tops of the stator cores uh, some because I was having clearance issues. Anyway, uh, so that will, uh, so the motor is far from stock. I guess is the point I'm trying to make there. Although everything is stock, it's, you know, the three phases are there, and the original rotor is here with its original magnets. Now, something that's interesting about these is the magnets, the stock magnets, are not super-duper. Some interesting things could be done, perhaps, with different magnets in these rotors. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope someone maybe will think about that. I have this uh, DC output PMA from years past, and it's uh, still working as far as I know, but that's um, up and coming. Um, I do have a... I have a maybe it won't work power system to supply higher voltage um, to this motor. Um, that's why I'm doing this ahead of time. Because there's too many variables. Uh, and I haven't made a video in a while. So, I have a second configuration in which um, I have two small DC motors down in there sitting on top of that wheel with the red edge which is rubber, gasket rubber. Um, so I have two small DC motors with on a floating common floating bracket you, you might say and this small PMA uh, for lawn tractors that I found online. Um, I'm hoping I can run that, those with this this power supply that I have. Uh, anyway, uh, I already tried a different motor on this uh, this little 10 inch wheel or whatever it is, and it um, well that happened to be it. A 75 watt AC motor and I need to have less input than that you know? so try to put in to make 10 watts to make 12 or something you know anything just for proof so I have a watt of coil sitting up on top there just as a weight um, this arm is connected to this vertical support and just simply vertically pivots there. Um, so, thanks for tuning in.